and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on how to apply eyeshadow for hooded eyes and I know how difficult it can be you know trying to achieve an eyeshadow application or even a winged liner for hooded eyes having a hooded eye all depends some people have a very obvious hooded eye while you know others have something like you know a slight hooded eye and I would consider mine slight because as you all can see like whenever I look up you know you can see I have a fold right on my crease and it also happens to me like when I frown whenever I frown you know I find I find out that my crease is almost covering you know all over my lid like it can really be frustrating you know especially trying to know where to place like your transitional colors your crease colors and even the lid color you guys so I was able to break it down for you guys so you will know exactly where and where to place each you know particular eyeshadow in order to make that hooded eyes not to be obvious yeah guys i hope you all find this video helpful and don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to see how i apply my eyeshadow for my hooded eyes then definitely keep on watching so we have different types of hooded eye and it all depends on the individual. Some people have an extreme hooded eye where you can barely see their lid while others have, you know, a slight hooded eye. And I will consider mine a little bit slight because as you all can see, you can at least see some, some part of my lid. But then when I look up, when I close my eyes, of course, you can see any fold or, you know, any um, hood on my eyes. But then when I open up my eyes, as you all can see, I have right here this place right here I would say like um, on my crease you know it's folded and the more I look up as you all can see you know it, it, it continues to fold and fold and fold and of course the very first thing I would do would be to apply an eyeshadow primer all over my eyes I love to apply my eyeshadow primer all over my eyelid and then just take it a little bit into the crease So once I have my eyeshadow primer on, the next thing will be to go in with the shadows and I will be using this palette, the Sephora and Pantone Universe palette and when it comes to the brow bone, I hardly ever highlight my brow bone. I always love to use a lighter shade of concealer, you know, to clean up my brow bone but for the purpose of today's video, even when I apply eyeshadow on my on my brow bone i always love to use a matte eyeshadow i'll be picking this eyeshadow right here you know it's somewhat like um a brownish eyeshadow it's matte and i will just go very very close to my eyebrow i will go very very close to my eyebrow and apply it as you all can see it's matte so it all depends on you if you want to use um shimmer you know shadows you can if you want to use matte eyeshadow you can all you can use that also and when i apply my brow bone highlight i love to just apply it and just take it a little bit down so it won't just be packed right there on the brow bone The, the main trick I use when I'm applying my very very first eyeshadow which is of course my transitional shade is to go up you know I don't just start from the crease I love to take my eyeshadow a little bit up you know it's not like all the way to the brow bone I just love to take it a little bit below the brow bone so I will have a lot more space to put like my crease color and my lid color you guys you will see that in a second so the next thing I'm gonna do would be just to apply a transitional shade and I will just pick up a light brown um, eyeshadow it's kind of an orange brown eyeshadow top of the excess and right here as you all can see if I'm to apply it on my crease I will apply it right here but no I always love to take it like a little bit up to the brow bone so I will have a lot more space to work with so I will just begin to blend it in this will just create a lot more space because if you start right from your crease you will realize that you know at the end of the day you won't have much space to apply whatever shadows you want to apply but when you have a hooded eye and you just start a little bit close to your brow bone it will give you a lot more space to work with 
once I have something that looks like this, the next thing will be to go in with my crease color. And I'll be using kind of a maroon um, brown eyeshadow. And when it comes to applying eyeshadow on my crease, as you all can see, like when I look up, that fold right here is of course my crease. But I love to take it a little bit above the fold and then blend it into that fold. I'll go in with the brush I used for my transitional shade and just use it to blend it out. So this is the most tactical part of having a hooded eye, applying your lid color. As you all can see, I have this fold right here. And before I started using this technique, I always apply my lid color right on this area right here but then I notice whenever I open up my eyes I have the lid color transferring up to the crease and sometimes you know that can be an odd ugly look so what I normally do is to take my lid color a little bit above that fold instead of me to apply my lid color right on my mobile lid area I always prefer to take it up and with this technique when you apply your lid color a little bit above you know your your crease or above the fold it gives you more of you know an illusion as though you have a bigger eye you know it opens up your your lid more but when you apply the lid color just on the marble lid area it just you know strains the eye it, it gives the eye that appearance of a smaller lid so I just start from my marble lid area and then take the color up Alright, so once I apply my lid color, the next thing will be for the outer V. Sometimes I don't like to smoke out my outer V, but for the purpose of this video, when it comes to smoking out my outer V, I always love to concentrate it right on the V, you know. As you all can see, I have this outer V right here. This is what we call the outer V area. I always love to concentrate it right on the, on the V section of the eye. I don't like to take it in because the more you take this, the, the color you use to smoke out the, the eye, the more smaller you will make your eyes, you know, appear. This is exactly how I love to do it. I love to begin right, you know, on the outer V, place the eyeshadow there and then blend it in. And while you're blending it in, you will find out, you know, that you take it a little bit, just a little bit. You don't need to Take it all the way to your lid because it will just, you know, um, make your eyes ap appear much more smaller. Alright, so another problem I always experience because I have a hooded eye is when it comes to applying my eyeliner like this right here used to be a very big issue for me because of you know my my folded you know crease I always find it difficult to apply a winged liner but then don't worry you guys because I discovered a very simple way to you know to apply a nice winged liner even when you have you know a hooded eye and how I normally do it is I go in with the brush dip it right into the gel liner I love to remove any excess on the cover of the gel liner. I love to follow the very last line of my eye, as you all can see, like my lashes, the very end of my lashes, where my eyes, you know, stops, and then draw a line. Depending on how long you like your wing liner to to be you know you just draw a straight line and then turn uh, turn the the brush around just like this and then take it in 
and as you all can see i avoided that area that fold area so even when i even when i open up my eyes you can still see my wing liner so what i normally love to do is to go in now and connect the two lines just like this then after that I just go in and begin filling up the space all right so I'll just go in and apply my eyeliner I'll apply my mascara and then apply my lashes alright so when it comes to smoking out my under lash line I don't always like to use a darker um, eyeshadow to do that because you know I always notice it leaves my eyes looking a lot more smaller or else if I'm using a white eyeshadow on my waterline that is the only time you know I would use maybe a black eyeshadow to smoke out my under lash line so I always love to use you know um, just a small brush pick up somewhat like a brown eyeshadow and just use it to sweep it on my under lash line So then I'll apply mascara on my lower lashes. And just to finish up the eyes, I will apply the same eyeshadow we used on the lid on my inner tear dot. guys i believe that is it for this video i hope i was able to break these tips down for you guys where you know you can easily understand it because i know how difficult it can be trying to you know get that perfect wing liner or even that perfect eyeshadow application like i used to make a lot of mistakes you know before i discovered this these um simple techniques i just showed you guys it's actually very very easy to apply you know eyeshadow for a hooded eye like seriously you guys as you all can see you saw the whole steps you saw the whole techniques i believe people have different types of hooded eyes so you just have to figure out you know what works for you what is the best you know technique and the best step that works for you but for me you guys this is exactly how i apply my eyeshadow you know to make my hooded eyes a lot more like you know minimized yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button and please guys also share this video because i know a lot of people have this hooded eye issue so please you guys help me share this video until my next one i will see you all very very soon